Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir. May I now request all the judges to kindly take the seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us 378 graduates and their unforgettable moment celebrating their ambition. Let us give them a huge round of applause. Dear graduates, we hope that your dreams take you to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your hearts have ever known. We wish you good luck. Hearty congratulations to all our graduates and postgraduates. We now invite our chief guest, Professor Zabidi A. M. Hussain, to deliver the graduation address. First and foremost, I thank the top leadership of Father Mother Charitable Institution for inviting me to this wonderful event, marking the graduation of yet another group of men and women who have been well trained to continue the good work and legacy of the founders of this institution. Without any shadow of doubt, this is an event that all of you have strived hard for, and to some of you, had led to tears and frustrations and calls for help. All praises be to the Lord who had crafted success as a prize for your sacrifice. Today's ceremony may mark a temporary halt to your pursuit of knowledge. However, we need to be reminded that if all the water in the ocean become things and trees in the forest, in this vast world becomes the pens and pencils that you used to write with. Knowledge that belongs to God will still be there and yet to be discovered. Your journey to knowledge seeking hence should not come to a stop. It does seem to be tiring though that having struggled past your dreaded admission interviews, bombarded with complicated anatomy terminologies, dissertations and difficult patients, Having felt the pains of the numerous exams upon exams imposed upon you, and having survived some of the more unpleasant episodes in your clinical years, the feeling that enough is enough is perfectly understandable. You all have made it to the end, ladies and gentlemen, and for that, you deserve a loud applause for yourself. Your sense of pride and glory, whilst understandable, should also be combined with a touch of humility so that your feet remain firmly on the ground. While your journey in academia may have ended, your journey in life will just have started. Be, be open to receive important tips in your life, especially from those who are ahead of you in this journey. Listen and treasure the nurturing experiences that you will get from your superiors, mentors, and seniors. Those will douse any flames of senseless pride and ego that may begin to appear in your hearts and in your minds. Ladies and gentlemen, 
watching you from far with deep and often unspoken sense of joy are your parents and members of your families. The struggles that they have gone through to ensure your success may not have been known or apparent to you. And because their struggles, difficulties and sacrifices may not have reached your ears or have been deliberately hidden from you for fear that it might disrupt your studies, there is every chance that you consider today's achievement to be solely a result of your own hard work and intelligence. No, folks, no. Their sacrifices, thoughts and prayers have been the pillars of your achievements. And for that, may I humbly ask you to stand on your feet, please. Turn around and look at your parents in their eyes and give them your loudest applause as a sign of your deepest appreciation. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you very much. I would like to bring you some of the real issues facing us in these days of the fourth industrial revolution. Someone armed with a handphone and the internet. The work, opinion and action of health professionals can easily be swept aside just with someone armed with a handphone and internet in exchange of already made quasi health solutions available from the W World Wide Web. It is from this source of knowledge that harm had been done as evident from the recent outbreak of measles thanks to the work of anti-vaccination proponents who are largely misguided. Perhaps the trust that has traditionally been placed in health profession has slowly been eroded as a consequence of our own failure to develop communication skills that can suit different persons at different occasions. Perhaps our selection process of ensuring only those who are academically supreme as a prerequisite to enter this noble profession, perhaps that has sidelined those who are street smart and not necessarily stupid. I firmly believe that nothing substitutes the age old art of healing. I must emphasize that the art of healing and not necessarily the science of healing. Art involves a fine judgment of nuances, exploring the depth of humanity through feelings, through emotions, through understandings. Not only of those who we are familiar with, but a wisdom that transcends race, religion, or cultural barriers. That represents the true value and capability of healers. A healer with a capability that does not necessarily require drugs or medicine to cure, but sufficiently achieved through empathy and reassuring words. I wish you well for your future undertakings, folks. Remember that your academic excellence of A's, B's, and C's, credits and distinctions, will no longer be the basis of people's assessment of you in the community. As you leave this hall, it's your A for attitude, B for behavior, and C for communication skills will be the new ABC, and where your dignity and excellence will be gauged and appreciated. I will end my short speech with a quotation from Ivan Koyim, a poet, who says that don't ruin your happiness with worry, don't ruin your mind with pessimism, don't ruin your success with deception, don't ruin the optimism of others by destroying it, don't ruin your day by looking back at yesterday. I hope to see you again in the future. Thank you very much. Salam. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring message. On this day of pride and joy for our graduates, it is but fitting that they be felicitated. 
and to do the honors, we have our MBBS students who have prepared a song for the same. May I request the students to please take stage. students for the lovely rendition. Now, on behalf of the graduates, Dr. Thomas George will speak a few words. Many 
many dream some try but few achieve and you have achieved good evening i am thomas george from mbbs 2013 batch responding on behalf of all graduates respected dignitaries reverend dr peter paul saldana chief guest of the day professor dr am hussein administrators faculty members family friends and fellow graduates graduation is a time for reflection on the labors of the past the accomplishments of the present and possibilities of the future today is a day to be both thankful and inspired we have much to be thankful for here at father mullers we have received a great education thanks to our fine administration and teachers the able administration has raised father mullers to the level of one of the best educational institutions the most striking structure i noticed on campus the very first day here is our chapel apart from being blessed with daily mass the chapel was a place of great solace to all of us i would like to thank our dean who has always portrayed the image of a highly disciplined personality yet so humble and kind with his charisma and charm he has always influenced us and motivated us to achieve the impossible the teachers we have come to know and love have given us much more than the best education we could ask for and have provided us with many of the life lessons we need in order to succeed without these teachers i'm sure many of us would not have enjoyed our college days nearly as much as we did nor would we have learned as much as we have i remember with deep gratitude and respect all the non teaching staff and nursing fraternity the custodians and janitors whose selfless relentless work ensures the smooth running of our institution we see them yet they go unnoticed in our busy schedules a smile a greeting is all they need from us words can't thank how much how important you were in all our journeys today is a turning point in each of our lives we have spent the last years wandering the halls of this great campus and now we are ready to go on we are prepared to move on and take up whatever challenges come next in our lives as i look into the crowd before me i sense a wave of emotions from everyone present for friends and family the sense of pride you have in your graduate accomplishments is unmeasurable these past 3 to 6 years have presented us with a lot of ups and downs and it is good to know that we have had our families in our corner supporting us along the way a big thank you to our parents siblings and all our family your love and prayers have brought us this far we would not be here without you finally we can be thankful for each other graduation ceremonies are times which become many memories the many times we have had to stay with a friend in the hospital room those temporary fights and patch ups silly jokes celebration of friends birthdays going out for lunch and a lot more silly activities we were indulged in during our campus days all of us are certainly going to miss them the friendships we have made here will last a lifetime just the same way we have supported each other and helped each other succeed in these years i hope we will continue to provide support and encouragement for each other in our future endeavors so looking at the bright horizon that is my future i am happy for although my life will contain sadness and heartbreak it will also hold joy love and success so don't look back and regret my friends look forward and smile in the disney movie lion king mufasa tells simba look inside yourself you are more than what you have become father mullers has given us much more than the degree that's conferred on us we have learned to care and share feel deeply for others with this said the qualities we have gained over the last 4 years and the well-rounded personalities we have become have given us an advantage after we leave this campus although we are very excited at this moment to be finished with the chapter in our lives the same fear we felt as freshers still looms in our stomachs the fear of the unknown the fear of the future years back the question i heard from everyone around me is reverberating again what do you plan to do next the future is full of uncertainties and prospects we just need to hold on to the bible much more than yesterday's for god says in jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 
For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for harm. To give you a future with hope. Don't ever underestimate the power we have to be successful. And don't ever take for granted the opportunities we have been given. Whatever you think your dream is now, it will probably change. And that's okay. One's dream is constantly evolving, rising and falling, changing course. Your life is not determined by what you achieve, but how you survive. As Eleanor Roosevelt, the former first lady and wife of the US President Theodore Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Congratulations friends, let's dare to dream. Thank you, Dr. Thomas George. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to honor our meritorious students from both the colleges whose academic performance has been outstanding. We begin with the Medical College. We now invite Dr. Padmaja Uday Kumar, Vice Dean of Adamula Medical College, to read out the names of the awardees from the Medical College and Allied Health Sciences. We request our Chief Guest, Dr. Zabidi, to kindly give away the prizes. Good evening. It's my privilege to present before you the names of our students who have brought glory to the institution by their outstanding academic performance. First MBBS examinations held in June 2017, late Dr. J.N. Shetty Memorial Prize for overall highest marks, Prof. B. Venugopal Rao Prize for highest marks in anatomy, Reverend Dr. Baptist Menezes Prize for securing highest marks in bio biochemistry, go to Ms. Shraddha Bhatt. Shreya Memorial Prize for highest marks in physiology instituted by Dr. Murlidhar go to Ms. Anjita Vergis. Late Dr. Jayan Shetty Memorial Prize this is for the examinations held in June 2018. Late Dr. Jayan Shetty Memorial Prize for overall highest marks Prof. B. Venugopal Prize for highest marks in anatomy and Reverend Father Baptist Menezes Prize for securing highest marks in biochemistry go to Ms. Fatima Shifa. Late Shri D. Venkatesha Memorial Prize for highest marks in physiology to Mr. Abhijit M. Kamath. Reverend Dr. Baptist Menezes Prize for securing highest marks in biochemistry go to Ms. Karina and Lobo. Second MBBS examinations held in December 2017. Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Pinto Prize for overall highest marks. Most Reverend Dr. Aloysius Paul De Souza Prize for highest marks in pathology. Monsignor A.F. De Souza Prize for highest marks in microbiology. Dr. Ramakrishna Pollachi Prize for highest marks in pharmacology. And Professor Uday Kumar K. Prize for highest marks in forensic medicine. All go to Mr. Sandeep Rao Koretkal. Prof. Uday Kumar K. Prize for Highest Marks in Forensic Medicine is also shared by Ms. Floris Ann Francis. <laughs> Final MBBS Part 1 examinations held in December 2017. Most Reverend Dr. Bernard Mora's Prize for Overall Highest Marks and Reverend Father Peter S. Norona Prize for Highest Marks in Community Medicine go to Mr. Shashank. Late Salvador Disa Kalyanpur Prize sponsored by Mr. Wilson Disa for highest marks in ophthalmology go to Ms. Yogeshwari. <laughs> Prof. Y.M. Hegde Prize for highest marks in otorhinolaryngology goes to Ms. Angeline Mascarinas. <laughs> Final MBBS Part 2 examinations held in December 2017. 
Reverend Dr. Lawrence C. Disosa Prize for overall highest marks, Prof. B. Sanjeev Rai Prize for highest marks in pediatrics, Prof. Bharati V. Baliga Prize for highest marks in obstetrics and gynecology. All the three go to Dr. Thomas George. Srimati and Sri M. Ramana Alva Prize sponsored by Dr. J.P. Alva in memory of his parents for highest marks in medicine goes to Dr. Anvit Sherwin Pinto. <laughs> Prof. S. Raghunath Shetty Prize for highest marks in surgery including orthopedics goes to Dr. Kshama Shanba. Best Dissertation Award of the Postgraduate Medical Students instituted by Dr. B. Sanjeev Rai for the year 2018 goes to Dr. Shashi Kirandi. Silver Medal for the Best Outgoing Postgraduate Student in the Department of General Medicine for the Batch 2015 sponsored by Dr. Venkatesh B.M. in memory of his parents, late Patel B.T. Manjapa Gauda and late Srimati Chinnamma goes to Dr. Aaron Lobo. Now we'll come to Allied Health Science courses. Late Father Lawrence V. M. Fernandez Memorial Prize for highest aggregate marks in BPT University exams. Late John Lino Vergis Memorial Prize for the best outgoing graduate of BPT. And Father Ignatius de Souza Award for securing highest marks in physiotherapy subjects go to Ms. Astel Pinto. marks in BPT University examinations held in September 2018. First year, Ms. Selvita Mascarinis. Second year, Ms. Rochelle de Souza. Third year, Ms. Giselle Pereira. Miss Anagha Ramesh. Highest marks in BSc Medical Laboratory Technology University examinations held in September 2018. First year, Miss Pushpa Kumari. Second year, Mr. Govinda Krishna. And final year, Sister Bhavya M. Jose. She is also awarded the best outgoing graduate of Allied Health Science course for the year 2018. Highest marks in BSc Medical Imaging Technology University examinations held in September 2018. First year, Ms. Melisha De Souza. Second year, Ms. Renisha De Souza. And final year, Ms. Alicia Fernandez. Highest marks in BSc Radiotherapy Technology University examinations held in September 2018. First year, Ms. Haya Shoyab. Second year, Ms. Josna D. Almeida. Highest aggregate marks in first and second semester masters in hospital administration university examinations held in May and October 2018 go to Ms. Almeida Frida Frank. Late Salvador Disa Kalyanpur Prize sponsored by Mr. Wilson Disa for highest aggregate marks in third and fourth semester masters in hospital administration university examinations and in May October 2018 go to Sister Jolly Bibi. Highest marks in final year master of physiotherapy university examination held in October 2018 Ms. Anmol Thomas. 
marks in MSc, MLT, University Examinations held in October 2018. First year, Ms. Samina Abbas and final year, Ms. Maunita. Thank you, Dr. Zabidi. We now request Dr. Padmaja Uday Kumar to read out the names of the rank holders for the medical college and allied courses and those who have excelled in sports. May I request His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana to kindly give away the prizes. The following students have secured awards or ranks in the university examinations held by Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bengaluru during the year 2018. PG Medical Degree Dr. Aaron Charles Lobo, MD General Medicine, 6th rank. Dr. Swati C. Prabhu, MD Pathology, 1st rank. As per the provisional list released by the university, she has also been declared for the award of RGHS Gold Medal for securing highest marks in MD Pathology. Dr. Pramila R. MD Pathology, 4th rank. Dr. Lakshmi Pati GH, MD Pediatrics, 7th rank. Dr. Sahana Shri V, MS General Surgery, 8th rank. Medical Diploma, Dr. Shilpa MJ, DLO, Diploma in Otorhinolaryngology, first rank. Physiotherapy and Allied Courses, Ms. Jeanal Montero A, BSc MIT, seventh rank. Ms. Josvita Montero, BSc MIT, ninth rank. Mr. Mohammad Bilal K, BSc MIT, 10th rank. Mr. Mohammad Ashar A, D, BSc RT, 1st rank. Ms. Deepti Jose, BSc RT, 4th rank. Ms. Nayana Babu, B.Sc. R.T. 5th rank. <laughs> Sister Jolly V.V. M.H.A. 1st rank. As per the provisional list released by the university, she has also been declared for the award of RGHS gold medal, gold medal for securing highest marks in M.Sc. Allied Health Sciences. <laughs> Ms. Suprita Shanai, M.H.A. 2nd rank. Ms. Ankita Shobakumar, MHA 5th rank. Dr. Chingu Rafi, MHA 7th rank. Ms. Chinmayi K, MHA 9th rank. Ms. Maunita M, MSc, MLT 1st rank. Mr. Abhijit Rajiv, MSc, MLT, 4th rank. Ms. Charisma Raskina, MSc, MLT, 5th rank. The following students from our college have represented Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Karnataka in various sports. Ms. Divya Disoza Chess Tournament. Ms. Farhanas Dhalayat Chess Tournament. Mr. Paul Vivek Praturi Chess Tournament. Mr. Jordan Rasquina Hockey Tournament. Mr. Rion Saldana Hockey Tournament. Mr. Ashik Shetty Hockey Tournament. 
Mr. Abdul Razak Natikar Cricket Tournament. Mr. Pranav Prakash All India Cross Country Race. Dr. Dhishan Kudwali All India Cross Country Race. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. We now request Dr. Santosh Kumar, Vice Principal of Father Muller College of Speech and Hearing, to present the awardees. May we also request our bishop to kindly give away the prizes. happy to inform you that our students of Father Muller College of Speech and Hearing have brought glory to the institution by their outstanding academic performance. Highest mark secured in first and second semester, Bachelor in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology University examination held in December 2017 and May 2018 awarded to Miss Elena Joss. Highest marks secured in third and fourth semester Bachelor in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology University examination held in December 2017 and May 2018 awarded to Ms. Ms. Rachel Elizabeth Johnson. Highest mark secured in 5th and 6th semester Bachelor in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology University examination held in December 2017 and May 2018 awarded to Ms. Prithvi N. She is also awarded third rank in Bachelor in of Audiology and Speech Language Pathology examination held by Mangalore University 2018. Best outgoing student of Audiology and Speech Language Pathology awarded to Ms. Gwendolyn Disuja. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir. Now request Dr. Jay Prakash Alwa to announce the winner of the President's Gold Medal 2018. We invite the President of the event, His Excellency Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Sandana to kindly do the honor. Dignitaries on the dais of the dais, ladies and gentlemen, the most awaited Father Muller Charitable Institutions President's Gold Medal for the best outgoing MBBS graduate for the year 2018 is awarded to Dr. Thomas George. Congratulations, Thomas George, and wish you a wonderful future, too. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir. Today, we have every reason to felicitate a great personality who is with us as the chief guest of this graduation ceremony, Professor Dr. Zabidi A.M. Hussain. Former Vice Chancellor of Pradana University, Malaysia, presently Director of Research and Innovation, Mesa University, Malaysia. We are indeed honored to have you with us, sir, and we congratulate you. On behalf of Father Muller Charitable Institutions, the management, staff, and students would like to felicitate you, sir. We have amongst us Dr. Kamalia Dawood, Professor of Nephrology and wife of Professor Dr. Zabidi, and we request you, madam, to kindly join your husband on stage as he receives this honor.
we now request our President, His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, Bishop of Mangalore Diocese and President, Father Mullah Charitable Institutions, to felicitate our Chief Guest. We now request Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Santana to give the presidential address. Respect uh, Chief Guest Professor Dr. Zabidi Hussein. Respected Director Father Richard, respected dignitaries on the days and of the days, the Reverend Fathers, Sisters, Parents, distinguished guests, and uh, graduates of this great day, the awardees, the whole Mullerian fraternity. I'm most happy to see you all, and this is the first time I am attending a function of this great uh, institution, of this great uh, glamour. <laughs> what a joy it is to be here for all of us, and especially for the parents to see their children as graduates. I appreciate the gesture of inspiring our uh, graduates to look and turn around and look at their parents' eyes and applaud for their sacrifices in all their life, especially right from their early days, what they dreamt has come true. I, from the depth of my heart, congratulate each and every one of you Today is the day of happiness to witness such a large gathering of graduates, their near and dear ones, and the great family of other Muller's charitable institutions on this graduation day. For several years I was working in Italy, and whenever they asked me, an Indian working in the Italian context in the university there, they were asking about my whereabouts and my homeland and I would point out what are the significant things that are in our province or in our diocese. The first thing that came to my mind was Father Muller's hospital. I often quoted or named this institution saying that Mangalore Diocese has a huge hospital, a charitable institution with 1,250 beds. And there are so many other allied sciences and especially two medical colleges under our care. 
and the people would simply raise their eyebrows and say, oh, it's a city that you have, a real city built on a hill that the Father Miller Medical College and the Allied Sciences Institutions. The other day I was traveling, flying from Calcutta to Bangalore, and there was some little uneasiness fed by one of the co-passengers. And there was an announcement. If there is a doctor, please come, please help us. And we were looking around whether there's a doctor in the flight. And finally, there was a lady doctor. She rose up to the occasion, went forward, and eased the situation by being very close to the person, comforting the person. Perhaps she did not give any medicine, but she could evaluate the situation and give a counsel, and with that, things were settled. And we had a safe flight onward. Then I realized how important it is to have a doctor close by. Today onwards, our society will be healthier and also wealthier with your presence because so many have a feather on your cap to say, I'm a doctor. I'm someone learned. Doctor is learned. You are a learned person. Learned in the human sciences, learned in medical sciences and paramedical sciences. And with that, you will be giving a sense of confidence to the people who come close to you. They will come with anxiety, they will come with worry, they will come with tensions, but you are the one called to ease those tensions, reduce those worries and comfort the broken hearted. And this great ministry and service to the humanity as we have expressed in the oath that you have professed, his self will be a constant reminder that your presence is needed in the society. You must realize that you are needed and you are needed at all events, even in the middle of the night. And you must be ever ready to serve the people whenever your presence is required. A hospital has two gates, one in the east, the other in the west. Most of the people enter the gate through the western gate and go back that way. Some of them unfortunately enter by the western and exit through the eastern gate. There are very few, there are very few. But many go back to the western gate. When they came in, they came with the pain, suffering and struggle, uneasiness. And when they go back, they go back with gratitude, with peace, looking at the hospital gate and with a lot of sense of satisfaction that having been treated well here. It's not the massive building that gives meaning to this institution. We have massive building, of course. It's not the wonderful walls and the gadgets and the instruments that we have that gives efficiency to our institute. It is the knowledge and wisdom that our doctors and paramedics have. Knowledge with love is wisdom. Knowledge without love is information. And even the devil has it, says Augustine, Saint Augustine. Information you can have plenty today. And how information can divert your attention to wrong decisions, Dr. Zabidi already pointed out. But our knowledge should turn and transform itself into wisdom. Wisdom that will really touch the core of the problem a person faces. And when the people come closer to you, they should feel strengthened, fed with that knowledge that transforms them, that reduces not only their pain and agony, but they in turn could be the guides to others. Looking at the institution that we have, the doctors are the bloodstream of this hospital. 
it is their love and care that makes the patients well becoming a doctor is more than just sitting in the classroom and taking notes it is to learn how to deal with the patients while maintaining emotional balance and maturity it is to learn much more than anatomy physiology biochemistry or pathology we are not dealing with the parts we are dealing with the whole person human beings are not a jumble of parts put together like a computer human being is a person a relational reality a reality which has a vertical relation with god and a horizontal relation with the human beings and other created realities in this world in this universe so you must look at these two dimensions and treat every person with that great dignity because this particular person who is right in front of me is a child of god he belongs to god primarily and therefore i respect and honor that person whatever may be the situation of that person and then that person has other relations parents wife children husband or everyone at home and we know the struggle of one person becomes the struggle of many others those who have spent hours and hours in front of in front of a hospital surgical theater or those who have accompanied the persons in the wards they know what it is to accompany a patient especially when a dear or near one is struggling and suffering and therefore a institution as a speciality it is not for money that we work here it's much more than money it is love charity charitable means love caritas means love and that love that we diffuse and spread in taking care of each and every one here we have great things to boast about well those are part of our achievements as our own students have shown to us we have great quality achievements of the accreditations as it has been already mentioned in the report by the dean and we are first in many things more than 100 years of history with the first in being having the simulation center first to start a patient care in psychiatry in private sector first to start a de addiction center first to start a rehabilitation center for leprosy first to start a nursing school in the private sector and a nursing college and many other realities we have this first but i would say father mullers is first in loving compassion why people come over here why do the people come with that ease and comfort because there is something very unique that these institutions do offer to the people who enter the gates a gold medalist in his speech said there's in the middle of this institution there's a chapel that is a power house where i heard father telling me he comes every day for the mass even when there's an exam and he doesn't miss it it's a joyful thing that somebody remembers god every day as he begins the day or she begins the day i was told once upon a time that dr venkat rao the man of great memory revered memory would pray a prayer before he went to the surgery i remember one of the doctors when i offered a little child in his hand for surgery first placed his hands on the head of this little child prayed and then took the child from my hand for surgery and that is what it is this hospital is different first invoking god's 
presence and his grace before we treat the person because that particular person has a connection deep connection with God as very much edified that a surgeon of a hospital first imposed the hands on the head of the child prayed over the child then took the child to the surgical room operation theater I'm sure the inspiration of Father Mullah, a priest, a homeopath who brought a little wooden box and a little medicine to distribute to the patients. About him it was told that when rich people came in he said you have other facilities possible but this is meant for the poor, the needy ones who cannot pay. He had a special love for the poorest of the poor and this hospital has grown because of such preferential option for the poor. This preferential option for the poor should be the hallmark of each and every graduate that passes out of this institution. And as Father Mullah has shown us the way, we should walk that way and we should help many others to walk that way. My dear brothers and sisters, it is our choice. It is our decision how we want to go about because we are free people, we have freedom and with that freedom we can choose to live in a way that befits our personality and that befits our dignity. Let me assure you, you have come up in our estimation, you have done very well and we are all proud of you and we congratulate you. This great institution has so many people working and it's a kind of a network like a human body where all the cells work in such harmony. So also this hospital has each and every individual contributing to the smooth running of this hospital. More than 10,000 people move in this campus having 800 doctors, 1,500 nurses, 5,000 students and many others who are giving their little service here and there as it was already mentioned by the student who responded to the great graduation ceremony. Today therefore I thank the whole faculty, the professors, the administration, the nurses, the governing board, the managing council, everyone even those who sweep and clean and keep the surroundings so well neat and tidy. Everyone with gratitude and I invoke God's blessings on all of you that the Heavenly Father bless each and every one of you and wherever you are, whatever you be, but remember that your life is shaped by charity, love in that Father Muller's hospital, charitable institution. Let charity, love be your guiding light. Thank you one and all. Thank you, Excellency. We now request Reverend Father Ajit Menezes, convener of this graduation ceremony, to propose the vote of thanks. Please excuse me for my bad throat. Please bear with me. Your Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, dignitaries on the days and of the days, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to all of you. As a convener of the graduation committee, I feel honored and delighted to voice forth my sentiments of gratitude this evening. First of all, I thank God Almighty for his per perennial blessings upon this esteemed mighty institution, especially for giving us this day of great jubilation. As mentioned already, we are in the vicennial year, in the 20th year of the glorious history of Father Muller Medical College. 
in these 20 years certainly we have soared high with unparalleled achievements and success stories. Yes, Father Mula Medical College has become a brand in itself. May God be praised. At the outset, I wish to thank Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Sridhana, the Bishop of Mangalore Diocese, the President of Father Mulla Charitable Institution and the President of today's solemn program. For the first time, he has presided over this graduation ceremony of our institution, having been appointed as the Bishop of Mangalore Diocese in July 2018. Under his able leadership and vision-filled direction, undoubtedly Father Muller is rising to greater heights and newer horizons. Ever since he assumed the responsibility as the chairman of Father Muller Charitable Institution, he has been the pillar of strength and motivating force to everyone here at Father Muller's. To crown it all, he is a caring shepherd full of compassion and kindness, heroic leader with courage and foresight. I am happy to say that he has initiated already a number of innovative and community-oriented healthcare programs in Mangalore Diocese, from which the poor patient draw countless benefits. Dear Bishop, thanks a million for what, who you are to us, for what you do for us, especially for being with us this evening and lifting our spirits through your meaningful message. Truly, you are a blessing and bring blessings. Thank you. I am pleased to acknowledge and appreciate the benevolent presence of our chief guest, Professor Dr. Zebedi M. Hussein, former Vice Chancellor Pardana University and Director of Research and Innovation at Massa University at Kuala Lumpur. On occasion like this, we look for someone who can be looked upon as a role model by the faculty and graduates. And our sight fell on Professor Zebedi, for he is an icon of hard work, commitment is his hallmark, passion for excellence is his trademark. His knowledge coupled with experience is unbeatable. Endured with a multifaceted personality, he has contributed a great deal in the medical education field. Sir, we thank you sincerely for accepting our invitation and for being present here with this present here with us this evening. Your motivating message to all the medical professionals has stirred them to rise higher and think nobler. We are grateful to you, sir, along with your better half, Dr. Kamle Daunt. We are grateful, sir. We are grateful to you, madam. It's my joy and delight to thank our dear director, Reverend Father Richard Elvocius Coelho, who stirs this healthcare institution through his self-sacrificing leadership. He brings newness, generates energy, and makes things happen with all earnestness. His tireless efforts in taking the institution in the right direction at the right time are deeply appreciated. Thank you, Father. On this solemn evening, I also thank and appreciate the prayerful wishes of Vicar General Monsignor Maxim Noronda, the Vice President of Father Mulla Charitable Institution, our former Director, Reverend Father Peter Noronda, who is here with us, our former Administrators, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, members of the Governing Board and Centenary Society, benefactors, the Government officials, and our alumni for being a part of this great celebration. On this happy occasion, it is but proper that I place on record our indebtedness to Dean, Vice Dean, Principals, Vice Principals, Chief of Research, Medical Superintendents, Chief Nursing Officer, HODs, Course Coordinators, co Course Coordinators, the Teaching Faculty and the Non-Teaching Staff of the Medical College and College of Speech and Hearing. You have been resourceful and magnanimous in your service and fought the battle for the past 20 years without heeding the wounds. Without you, the institutions in the campus would be less academic and professional. Sincere thanks to all of you. 
I take this opportunity to thank all the parents and guardians of our graduates who have witnessed today with a sense of satisfaction and pride their sons and daughters graduating. Parents, you have played an important role in the formation and education of your awards. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, an event like this can't happen overnight. The wheels had to begin to roll weeks ago. It required meticulous planning in this Herculean task. We were backed by a team of highly motivated and dedicated colleagues of our institution who quietly fulfilled their responsibility without expecting any reward or applause. Thanks for your kind support. I wish to extend my heartfelt thanks to all the administrator, Reverend Father Rudolf Ravidesa, Father Vincent Saldana, Father Roshan Krasta, Father Sylvester Vincent Lobo, Father Nelson Fais for heading different committees and for their determined efforts in making this event a great success with lasting memories. I also thank our spiritual directors, Father Felix Montero, Father George de Souza, Father Felix Noruna for their dedicated services round the clock to everyone in the campus. I'm sure today's program marked with quality is a living example of our teamwork, commitment and dedication. Thank you, dear fathers. We remain grateful to our media friends, print and electronic, police personnel, and all those who have assisted us in the technical, physical, and security arrangements. Sound and light, video and photography, stage setting, backdrop, etc. Your assistance has brought glow and radiance. Thank you. Permit me to mention our appreciation to all our students, volunteers, their coordinators, MCs, staff and student coordinators, secretaries and the office staff of Father Mullah Medical College and Father Mullah Speech and Hearing who are assisting us on the stage and off the stage. I also wish to express my gratitude to the heads and the members of various committees who assisted in organizing today's program responsibly and professionally. Thank you very much. <laughs> Finally, my heartiest congratulation and warmest felicitation to all the bright and smart graduates. Dear graduates, you are the stars of the day. We are proud of you. Today, we send you with delightful heart as our ambassadors of love and compassion towards the sick and the suffering. We send, send forth to heal and comfort. We pray that the holistic formation given at Father Muller's may help you to realize your big dreams. Above all, to become humane, committed and sincere medical or nursing professionals. Best wishes and blessings to all of you for, our, for your bright future. Pardon me if I have forgotten to mention anyone's name. Before I conclude, once again, I thank each and everyone present here. Your gracious presence, participation and encouragement have spoken volumes. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have a great evening. Thank you once again. Thank you, Father. We kindly request all of you to rise for the institutional anthem.
with this, we come to the end of today's graduation ceremony. Kindly remain standing as the dignitaries on the dais leave the hall in procession, followed by the graduates. Graduates, kindly note, as informed earlier, no one will be permitted to leave the convention center with the graduation caps and gowns. Everyone is required to return their graduation gowns and caps within the next 30 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly pay attention. The refreshment counters are open now. Refreshments will be served in Mulladain, which is the first floor of this convention center. Do take your time, relax, and enjoy the refreshments. Thank you. This is Dr. Shannon Fernandez. I'm Dr. Mahesh. Signing off. Have a pleasant evening.